Hello, CST family, and thank you for joining me in our propane training video. If you are being asked to watch this video, it's because you have some potential to drive a propane bus in your future. So please watch the following videos and I will catch you on the flip side. The next generation Bluebird Propane Powered Vision School Bus is powered by a Ford engine that employs a one-touch integrated start system or OTIS system. The OTIS system automatically controls a portion of the starting sequence. Therefore, the start sequence is different from all other Bluebird buses. The following sequence should be used for each engine startup regardless of ambient temperatures, engine temperatures, and the frequency of start cycles. First, engage the parking brake fully and place the transmission in neutral. Next, turn the keyed ignition switch to the on position and pause for 5 seconds. Please note, if the ignition switch has been off less than 30 minutes, the pause is not necessary. Turn the key to the start position, then release the key to the on position and wait for the OTIS system to finish the start sequence. Please note, do not hold the key in the start position. The wait to start light illuminates and a start in progress message will display in the message center. Depending on sequence timing, you may or may not see the indicators. The waiting period will vary from 2 to 45 seconds, then the starter will automatically engage and start the engine. If the engine does not start after waiting 60 seconds, turn the key off and repeat the previous steps. If the engine does not start after several attempts, report the no start condition to a qualified technician. Fueling a Roush propane powered vehicle is a lot easier than you might imagine. Fleet managers considering propane as their fuel of choice can have a dispenser installed a lot like this one for little to no upfront cost. And best of all, they look, feel, and operate very similar to gasoline and diesel dispensers. Start the fueling process by turning off the vehicle. It's always a good idea to wear eye protection and a pair of gloves. 
Also be sure to check that there are no open flames within 25 feet of the vehicle. Open the fuel door and unscrew the cap from the fill valve. Remove the nozzle from the dispenser and screw it tightly onto the tank fill valve, ensuring a proper fit. Tightening the nozzle opens the internal fill valve check valve. If the nozzle is not screwed on properly, propane will not pump out of the dispenser. Slide your credit card or company fuel card through the card reader, and when the display shows it's been read properly, hit the start button. Pull the handle on the dispenser nozzle and propane will begin pumping into the vehicle's fuel tank. When the fuel level in the tank reaches 80% storage capacity, the dispenser will automatically stop pumping fuel into the vehicle's fuel tank. Turn the dispenser off and then disengage the fill handle on the dispenser nozzle. A short, small burst of vaporized propane will be emitted at this point, releasing pressure from the line and allowing you to unscrew the nozzle from the fill valve. Return the nozzle to the dispenser, cap the fill valve, shut the fuel fill door, and you're finished. For important safe handling information about propane, visit www.propanesafety.com. And for more information about Roush propane-powered vehicles or propane fueling dispensers, call 1-800-59-ROUSH or visit switchtopropane.com.